In this movie, we're going to take a look at an extremely useful feature of Anime Studio, and that is the ability to create compound paths. Now, the documentation for anime refers to this as holes, and I can understand exactly why, where you have a hole in an object, and you can see through it. But every other software that I've worked with that's in a drawing format always refers to these as compound paths because they're made up of multiple curves that interact with each other. Let's go ahead and create something like a broken car window where we've got maybe a bank robber getting away from a scene or something. I've gone ahead and set up my defaults to have a light blue fill color and a black line line color. Before we get started with this, this is an extremely important thing to know about working with compound paths. The tools in anime, for whatever reason, don't allow you to create a compound path with a shape that already has a fill color applied to it. It has to be a shape that has no fill whatsoever. You can make the compound paths with any of the drawing tools, the primitive oval and rectangle tools, the freehand tool, or the add point tool. Since I'm going to do a car window, I'm going to go ahead and grab my rectangle tool here, and that can be done with keyboard shortcut E if I wanted. We'll go ahead and select the create shape tool that's down here in the fill palette, keyboard shortcut U. And while it automatically selects the object I have there, that's not what I want. You need to actually draw around your complete object and I can do this irregular selection or this, this kind of lasso selection because the lasso tool right up here at the top is engaged. By releasing this, Anime says, here's the preview of what I think you want as a finished shape. However, you have to go one step beyond this. If I go ahead and just move along or something like that or hit return or enter, the shape does not fill. Let me go ahead and select this again. We'll draw the basic shape. I'm going to go ahead and grab my perspective tool over here. We'll go ahead and cast this into perspective a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and skew this just a little bit here with our shear. And there we go. To get the interior break on this, I'm going to use the freehand tool just because it's faster. And this does work with uh, the pen tools if you're drawing on a tablet, so you can make it work that way. I'll create our original breaks here. Now the tool is going to round these things out. And if I want to sharpen this up more like a real window break, I'll use the keyboard shortcut P and engage the peak function and automatically sharpen all the curves on these nodes. I'm going to draw a few more little holes here. Maybe we've got a getaway car that is uh, being shot at with machine guns. So we've got these nice little holes in a, a linear pattern here. And I'm, I keep pressing the P key when I'm done drawing the shape to sharpen this shape up. So now we've got multiple shapes. They aren't filled line only. Now we come to the important next step of working with the shape tool or the tool to create the compound path. You need to select your shape and then you must press the space bar on your keyboard to validate or authorize this color fill. Once you do that it automatically fills with the color and we've got our basic window. Go ahead and select off that and we get a pretty good view of what's going on. Now I'm going to show you a little useful tool that we haven't used on any of our previous drawing. You've seen me create variable line widths using the keyboard shortcut W for our width tool over here in the fill tool section. And you've seen me create some variable width lines based on using a pen tool with a tablet. Well, if you don't have a pen tool, you can still rapidly create some very organic variable width lines. Let me show you how to do that. I'll press the keyboard shortcut G, which is our selection tool, and simply click in the colored area of the shape. It will automatically have the entire shape selected. And where you find this next tool is not over in the tool palette, but it's actually up here under the draw pull down menu, and it's random line width. It has a keyboard shortcut for the Macintosh, it's command D. For the PC, it'll be control D. And you can automatically invoke that, and you get a little modal dialog box that pops up with some variations or some parameters that you can go ahead and confine this tool to. We've got a minimum width and maximum width. Because it's highlighted, you can't really see that. Let me deselect that, but we've got a minimum width of 1, which is what the lines are now, and a maximum width of 4. I'll leave that as the defaults now and select OK. Now we've got a very nice, rapid selection of the entire object, variable line width for each one, so it's a nice way to go ahead and just kind of tune up and style up your drawing with a mouse very, very fast. Beyond this, you can go ahead and tune this a little bit more, keyboard shortcut W. 
allows you to select one note at a time and by dragging left or right go ahead and make this a thicker thin line selection or change that just a little bit so we can emphasize or de-emphasize some of the breaks in the lines if we want. So that's how you create compound shapes in Anime Studio. Very fast, very easy.